Good afternoon. I'm Kurt Jacobson from the technical service team, and we're going to show you how to adjust your UDX unit heater for operation at high altitude. Um, it is a single orifice machine, and so therefore the adjustment is manifold pressure rather than gas orifice changes. So based on the altitude that you're going to be operating at and the unit model size, we're going to show you how to properly derate that unit for operation. Um, we've removed the door just for illustration purposes to make it easier to demonstrate the process. We've confirmed that the power has been removed um, from the appliance and the gas is turned off. So now what we will do is remove the test plug from the outlet side of the gas valve and install a pressure tap so that we can confirm the outlet manifold pressure um, with the unit in operation. Okay, we've removed the eighth inch pipe plug from the gas valve and installed our pressure tap. We're gonna connect our digital manometer. We're gonna zero the equipment and we're gonna connect to the pressure tap. The next thing we're gonna do is remove the dust cap from the regulator this is where you make the adjustment for the manifold pressure. Okay, we've got the unit energized. We have gas connected, the gas is turned on, and now we're gonna initiate a call for heat. The venter motor is on. We're running a pre-purge cycle. When the pressure switch makes, then we'll begin sparking and trial for ignition. And we're gonna set this heater up today for 4,000 feet. So the required manifold pressure for 4,000 feet based on the information in the installation manual. We have ignition. And right now this unit is running at approximately 3.7 inches of manifold pressure. So we're just going to increase that pressure very slightly to get it to 2.8, which is the required Maximum manifold pressure for an altitude of four to 5,000 feet. And there you go. It doesn't get much simpler than that. Now what I like to do is I like to turn the unit off and recycle to make sure the valve comes back at the correct pressure when it recycles. Okay, we're beginning a retrial to confirm the manifold pressure at the new adjusted rate for 4,000 feet elevation. The combustion fan motor is operating. The combustion pressure switch is made. We are completing the pre-purge time sequence and we're gonna begin a trial for ignition. There's trial for ignition. The unit is sparking. The unit has lit. And we're running at 2.80 which is the correct manifold pressure for 4,000 feet. So now we just shut the unit back down, put the dust cap back on the regulator cover, and put the eighth inch pipe plug back in the outlet of the gas valve. And that completes the manifold pressure D-rate for high altitude. 